In this video, I am showing you how to safely do at home micro needling procedure for your skin and I'm going to be sharing with you the pros and cons of doing this procedure at home versus in the office by a professional so that you can decide for yourself, your skincare goals and your budget, what is best for you. I'm Dr. Marin Locke, known here as the budget dermatologist. I love to do these little spend versus save matchups of skincare products and procedures to help you all get premium skin without the price tag. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel if this content resonates with you and come say hi on Instagram at the budget dermatologist. Now, as a board certified dermatologist, I have been performing microneedling procedures in my office for years. So I am very familiar with the in-office form of this procedure and the results that you can get from that. But what about these home devices for microneedling? Do they actually work? I have a major opinion on this and I think you are going to find it helpful. So I am going to be using this Cure Micro Infusion System to demonstrate at home micro stamping or micro needling. And I'm going to be comparing that to the in office procedure that uses micro needles at a greater depth up to two millimeters or four times deeper than we are using at home. This specific product is going to be linked in the description of this video. So Cure supplied me with all the materials that you will see here and is sponsoring this video. But let me assure you, all of these opinions are my own and I am sharing with you my own personal expert experience performing both of these procedures in office and at home for years. And that is key here. So first, let's talk about what microneedling treats. Microneedling is used to treat conditions like aging, so fine lines and wrinkles on the skin. It can be used for uneven skin tone and rough texture. It can be used to decrease large pore size. It can be used for acne scars and just for general skin barrier health to maintain or improve a glowing complexion. Now, how does microneedling actually work? So this is true for both at home and in office forms of this procedure. The mechanism of action is similar. Both forms are going to use needles to create a controlled amount of trauma to the skin when the needle pierces through the top layer called the stratum corneum. Now this is helpful for two main reasons. Number one, this injury is going to stimulate a healing response in your body that leads your body to create and lay down new collagen. And two, these little micro channels can help ingredients penetrate deeper into the skin so they are more effective. So both at home and in office forms of microneedling use these needles that is actually piercing your skin and you will get both of these benefits, whether you do it at home or in the office, you will get healing and more collagen and you will get better absorption of the product that you are applying in those channels. So then what is the difference between in office and at home microneedling devices? It's the depth that the needle penetrates the skin and the ability to customize the depth based on different areas of the face. So Cure, for example, the one that I'm going to be doing to my face today has needles that are 0.5 millimeters in depth. These are 24 karat hollow needles and they are actually finer than hair. Whereas in office microneedling devices typically will range from 0.25 millimeters up to in general, two millimeters in depth. And what's nice about those is that you can adjust the depth of the needle, making it more shallow for thin skin or deeper for thicker areas such as the cheeks. Now with the deeper penetration of the in office needles, you will potentially get greater results, but more chance of side effects. And the more painful it is, the deeper the needle penetrates. Many patients are actually unable to tolerate the procedure at maximum depths. Some people struggle to tolerate it beyond one millimeter. So deeper is not always better. So the key difference here is that in office treatments are more customizable, but you can actually achieve a similar depth rate at home. Like this device here by cure, this is 0.5 millimeters, which falls in the range of the in-office devices. And the other difference I will point out is that some in-office devices can actually create more channels in the skin based on their 
uh, technology versus these, but you can also do several passes over the skin to make sure you get complete coverage so you still can have very great results with this. So let me show you how to micro stamp or micro needle your face right at home with this device by Cure. And I'm going to talk about the safety aspect here, which is the most important thing to take away from this video. You have to make sure you're being safe. So first we're going to start with cleansing your skin and washing your hands thoroughly, just like if you were to do an in-office procedure where the face is prepped with a disinfectant like alcohol, you could even use isopropyl alcohol swabs or a complete cleanse of the face. You can even do what I do. I follow it up with some micellar water to ensure that all the makeup and residue is removed. So we have a totally clean slate to start our micro stamping procedure. First, you are going to want to prep your vial. So Cure actually has two serum options, the Hydra Soothing Serum and the Epidermal Growth Factor Rejuvenating Serum. So the Hydra Serum is gonna be great for plumping the skin, plumping out those fine lines and hydrating, giving you this nice dewy look. And the Growth Factor Serum is going to be great for resurfacing the skin, more improvement of those fine lines and wrinkles and the texture of the skin. So I'm gonna be using the Epidermal Growth Factor Serum today. You open this up and then you will pour this directly into the vial. It opens just like that, let's pour it in. And then I'll show you a very important part after this. Okay, so the solution is in there. Now, the micro infusion kit comes with these one time use needle toppers. So now you're going to open this sterile needle and you're going to place it on top of the vial to begin your treatment session. Just screws on right like this. So once your single use sterile needle cap is on, you are going to turn it upside down and let it sit there for about one to two minutes so the serum can load into the needles and then you'll be ready to start your procedure. These needles are hollow, 24 karat gold. So again, we're just gonna sit it like this, let the serum infuse down and then we'll be ready to go. Now, in the meantime, I'm gonna let this sit upside down for one to two minutes. Now I'm gonna wash my face. Okay, so now we're ready. Face is cleansed. This is ready to go. So you're going to remove the cap to expose the needles and then we're going to micro stamp the face. The tip that I'm going to give you is make sure you keep your face tilted so you can keep the serum flowing and loaded into the needles. I like to pull my skin taut and then I start from the center, work my way outwards and I try to overlap about 50% of overlap between each stamp to make sure I get full coverage of the face. So right here, I'm trying to do this right. And then I just stamp firm pressure and lift. And then I just move right along 50% overlap and go out and then the next row. And we're just gonna stamp, 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 stamp. So I'm gonna finish this side of my face and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm actually need to do a better job keeping this more inverted. So we're getting the serum. Now you can kind of see the serum on the skin you can see the slight redness where I've stamped so far. So you might be wondering, does this hurt? And I will tell you that at home, microneedling is typically way less painful than in office procedures purely due to the depth of penetration of the needles. This device by Cure is very, very comfortable. You can see I'm not even flinching as I am stamping my face when the needles kind of pierce through the skin. It's not totally painless, but it's just about as close to painless as you will possibly get while still having a needle go through your skin, okay? It feels very much, I would say like, just like a minimal pinch um, that's more noticeable around thin skin and around the mouth, and then really hardly noticeable around forehead. Otherwise, in my opinion, this is very easy to tolerate, so I'm gonna keep marching along here. Now I'm gonna carefully go in and do the under eye area a little more closely. This is a lot more sensitive, so just be careful and adjust your pressure here to your comfort level. Another tip, be careful that you are not dragging this. You wanna stamp and lift, stamp and lift. So if you get going really quickly, just be careful. This is a quick procedure, but don't go too fast. You do not want to accidentally drag and scrape the top layer of the skin. If you are not getting absolutely any redness at all, my tip is to make sure you adjust your pressure of applying it. You can see where I've done it here. It's a little bit red. 
and we're going to finish down the cheek now. Okay, so both cheeks are done. Now moving to my forehead. Again, tilt and stamp away. So you can see some redness where I've done it versus the untreated side. And that is what you want. You want to get a little bit of a response here. You want to know that you are getting penetration into the skin, that this epidermal growth factor serum is getting down into these channels. And again, you can adjust the pressure to your comfort level. Bye bye wrinkles, go away. I am focusing hard on the 11s. You guys know that I do not personally do Botox. I embrace the wrinkles to some extent and I try to use other methods to control them besides Botox. So this little micro stamping device needs to do some overtime for me here to soften these wrinkles. So I love having other options like this to do for at-home procedures. Okay, you can see that the serum, I'm just gonna blend it in for a treat. I did not go too close to the hairline. So you can see just that little bit of erythema or redness in the treated area. And that is a treatment end goal. That is exactly what you want. Now I have about this much serum left in the vial you can now do a second pass which means you're just going right back over your skin in the same areas to get a second layer of coverage to help avoid skip areas if you want so i may spend a little time going back over my forehead some of my other little problem areas and then i will take the remainder of what's left after my second pass and i will just dump it in my hand and then apply it to the face to make sure it really gets down into those channels you will notice that this little bit of erythema or this redness it will fade within minutes to an hour at most. I mean, mine is already, you can see it's already calmed down a whole lot. So that is going to go away shortly. So no worries there. The downtime after this procedure is virtually no downtime. Your redness is gonna fade very quickly. Now, this is very similar for what you should expect when you finish in office microneedling procedures, your redness will be minimal, maybe to a slight sunburn look. And this is all going to depend on the depth of needle penetration and your skin sensitivity. But in general, both in office and at home procedures should have no significant downtime after you are done with those. So before I show you how to safely remove the needle and discard it, because again, this is one time use only, I'm going to actually restamp my face a second time, get a second pass through there, and then I'll show you what I do after. This entire procedure should take you five minutes. So it is really, really quick. The entire in-office procedure after you've, you're prepped and you're ready to go, that should take probably about five to 10 minutes too. So the time investment for both of these is about the same. This I would say is the most sensitive area for me, close to the eyes. And then I'm gonna be brave and go right around the mouth, but it is a little sensitive there too. But compared to in office, it is much more tolerable. Okay, that's it. Two passes are done. Now I am going to replace that, remove the cap, and then this is discarded. It is one time use only. You can see there's a little bit left here. And I'll just take that and apply it to my skin while those channels are still open. So let's talk a little bit more about the pros and con comparison of in office and at home. You can do this about every two to four weeks at home. And then in office, you typically do that every four weeks or so for at least the first three to four months before you enter into maintenance sessions. Now let's compare the convenience and the price between at home versus in office. So this full face treatment with cure, microinfusion, it might take you five minutes total, roughly the same amount of time, maybe a little bit quicker than the in-office procedure. But of course, these at-home devices definitely have the leg up when it comes to convenience and prices. This is a fraction. I mean, this is a fraction of the cost of what in-office microneedling packages will cost you. So the price of this is the Budget Nerm approved. I also have a discount code for this. I'm gonna link that below in the description to help save you guys even more money. But let's talk about results. So at-home microneedling devices like this one by Cure can definitely give you great results, but these will build more slowly over time although the hydrating serum one actually can give you a really nice dewy plumped complexion actually right away. But in terms of fading those 
fine lines, wrinkles, and really making your skin tone more even, that is going to take you three months or more of consistent use to really start to notice those benefits. So my pro tip for you is if you are going to start this, you really need to dedicate yourself to using this for at least three months before you compare your before and after results. And the exact same is true for in-office treatments. You need to do a full three months of procedures before you start to really get those optimal results. But with those in-office procedures and potentially a greater depth of penetration of the needles, you can get results more quickly and potentially more drastic results with those procedures. But this at-home device compared to the in-office form is going to be far, I mean, far more comfortable and more convenient because you can do it right from the comfort of your own home like I showed you today, and it is far more affordable. So those are really the benefits there. The in-office procedure benefits, like I mentioned, are that it's more customizable and you can get, have a greater depth of penetration with those needles. But again, that's going to come with potentially more discomfort, potentially more side effects. So you gotta weigh your pros and cons there as well as the price and convenience difference. And then lastly, I am only gonna recommend that you try this device or any at-home microneedling device if you can be confident that you are going to use it safely and precisely as directed without any error, okay? So this gets the Budget Derm stamp of approval for results and price. Plus it's just super easy and quick to do, which always wins me over. So I will be linking this below with my discount code to save you guys a little bit of money. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more skincare reviews, advice, and routines, all that fun stuff coming up. Come say hi on Instagram at the Budget Dermatologist. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.